It's the mythological beast in person for, I don't know, a year, more than a year. Rumors and leaks and specs and talk about a PlayStation-based phone. And here it is. It's the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Live and in the flesh, so to speak, in the silicon, I guess, at Mo World Congress 2011 in Barcelona. I am here with Pedro from Sony Ericsson, who is going to take us through the first PlayStation certified device, the Xperia Play. So, um, what we have here, so this is the Xperia Play, uh, fully fledged smartphone, uh, as you would expect from one of our Xperia devices. So, you get the Sony Ericsson flavor of Android Gingerbread. It's running on the, the latest Android release available, which is Android Gingerbread 2.3. Um, so, as I said, full, fully fledged Android gingerbread, a bit of a Sony feel. You can see from the theme also what we call the media pane, where you can consume very easily all your content. And then, of course, we have the, uh, the, the gaming part. So, the idea is that when you slide open the phone, you go into a full gaming experience. And I will show you that how that will look. Uh, this is still a demo version. Obviously, pre-production pre software, not you know, not what's shipping yet. So this is what you will get when you open the device. So you're going to fully gaming mode. This is what we call the Xperia Play launcher. And as you can see here, you can find the games that are actually installed on the device. Uh, you have an, another tab which is recently out, so this will show the games that you recently downloaded. And then you have the, the more games tab, and this is where we'll, we will show the, the games that we're recommending you for the download for the game. So this will be refreshed a few times during the day, um, so that you always have the latest and greatest content available to download. And how this will work is that uh, when you click on it, you'll be directed to Android Market to where you can then buy it and, and download it. Um, let me just then show you maybe one of the games. So here I'm showing it's uh, Asphalt, so uh, a title from, from Gameloft that will uh, actually be preloaded on the device. Uh, I'm just going to set up a, a race. Take a bit to, to download. So I just downloading. Maybe I can explain. So the controls that we have on the on the gamepad itself. So you have the D-pad. Uh, then you have uh, two analog uh, touchpads. So emulating like what you get on the kind of a joystick. Right. And you have the typical four uh, symbol keys from Sony to select and start, which is very typical from Sony as well. And you can see on the back we have the shoulder buttons as well. Oh, great. Actually, could you flip that one more time? I missed that. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. So, so in this game, what well, you'll be seeing, so you use the X to accelerate, which you know, very similar to what you expect on a PlayStation controller. And then just the directional keys and then the shoulder button on the back, as you can see, actually uh, triggers the nitros to make you go even faster. Yeah, that's the button that I hit too many times yeah. when I play games like this. <laughs> I forget where the break button is, but yeah. I know where the nitro is. So the, the PlayStation certified concept, mm -hmm. what does that refer to? Well, uh, this is the first PlayStation certified device. Um, so as uh, part of the uh, NGP announcement from, uh, from Sony a few weeks back, they also announced the PlayStation Suite framework. Uh, and that means that uh, they're committing to bringing PlayStation titles to, the, to Android. Um, and what they've committed is to uh, initially they will uh, bring uh, PlayStation 1 titles. To, to, to this framework, so those titles will, uh, as part of the PlayStation framework, will be made available for, uh, for this device. Um, as I said, initially, PlayStation 1 titles, uh, they will be available for download from, from Android markets exclusively for this device. And then there's talk of a, a PlayStation Store coming later? Exactly. I mean, part of the, uh, the PlayStation Suite framework, uh, Sony is, uh, will bring up uh, a PlayStation Store uh, later this year. Uh, where all then the, the games that they bring to the PlayStation Suite framework will be made available. So we'll have the devices will ship with some games pre-installed. There'll be more available for download yeah. at launch, yeah. and then later the uh, official, if you will, PlayStation Store. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, we aim to have uh, uh, around 50 titles available at launch uh, for, for consumers now, to download. Now, if you spent a day training me to play this game, and I played it without also being on camera explaining how the whole process works, yeah. you would still be me hands down. Uh, you're, you're driving, you're telling me about the whole yeah. PlayStation It's very easy. Thing. I mean, it's that's what we, what is key is what we really focus is on delivering a great, uh, or the ultimate gaming experience on this device. And we believe that the gamepad is really key in this, uh, to, to be able to achieve that. Terrific. Will there be multi multiplayer games? Yes. This Asphalt, for instance, supports multiplayer with up to six players. Excellent. And out of the box, we have Star Battalion, which also uh, supports multiplayer. 
and uh, FIFA 10, which is actually your first Android to have multiplayer, will be on this device. Excellent. Um, and more of them, the titles that will be made available for download will, uh, will be possible. And there's one of the titles that we actually uh, will be available for download, which is uh, Dungeon Defenders. It actually supports um, online playing, and it's cross-platform. So it's a title that you can play on PC and console, so it will be completely cross-platform. Very cool, very cool. And when will all of this uh, mobile gaming goodness be available? Uh, so we, we just announced the device yesterday, and the, uh, the launch of this device is in the first quarter of this year. All right, not long to wait. Nope. It's the Xperia Play. I think I'm going to go get my hands on a demo unit for a little while. Uh, off camera, though, because I am not a good driver. From the Sony Ericsson Pavilion at Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. Thank you, Pedro. It's the uh, Xperia Play. Very exciting. We're going to see it soon across the globe. And in the U.S., they announced uh, exclusive launch with Verizon. Much, much more 